There is a reason why so many song lyrics and poetry verses have been written about roads. They are the beginning and the end of every destination. They can lead you on great adventures and thrilling explorations. They embody so many different possibilities and mysteries. But the roads in the Devil's Lake area of North Dakota often lead to nowhere. Nowhere but to a world of loss, of lost dreams. Nowhere but to a world of mourning, of painful memories. Nowhere but to a world of unwanted water, to a lake that has imposed itself on communities, on businesses, on farms, on lives. For the past 18 years, Devil's Lake has been on a rampage. In 1993, the lake was at approximately 1,425 feet above sea level, covering roughly 69 square miles. Today it has topped 1,454 feet, and like an insatiable monster, it has swallowed 285 square miles. Square miles of fertile land where generations of farm families had carved out lives and a lifestyle. Where communities aspired to harbor the future, and counties worked to provide the infrastructure for that future. Devil's Lake's relentless growth has taken 170,000 acres of farmland from the region's farmers since 1993. According to an NDSU study, it has caused an economic loss of $195 million and stolen 1,100 jobs. It has inundated at least two communities and imposed on countless homes and farms. To date, it has cost U.S. taxpayers $1 billion. And after 18 years, it still seems as though Devil's Lake may not be satisfied until it has topped 1,458 feet. What that means for the state is unspeakable. At 1,458 feet, Devil's Lake will spill over into the Tolna Coulee. From there, its waters will rush down the Cheyenne River and eventually join the Red River in its trek into Canada. The debate about how to handle that risk of spillover has raged on for years. Meanwhile, stakeholders struggle to maintain the infrastructure required to maintain population, commerce, and lifestyles. Northern Plains has been at the heart of that struggle. As the lake rises, so too do the miles of cooperative line that are impacted. When the lake reached a level of 1,435 feet, it impacted six accounts and 40 poles. Then the lake reached 1,445 feet, and 90 miles of line, 1,800 poles, and 107 members. By the time the lake reaches 1,458 feet, it will challenge 204 miles of overhead line, 33 miles of underground line, 4,076 poles, and 448 Northern Plains members. Thus far, Northern Plains has responded with a policy that ensures its members of service where possible. The problem is that Devil's Lake is often making it impossible to continue service. Like other entities, in order to provide service, Northern Plains requires roads that allow its crews access to member accounts. But much too often, the roads in the region lead to nowhere. To nowhere but a world of water, of imposing, impossible, interminable water.